Beth from the Kingston Home. Welcome to our channel and to our bathroom. We are in the middle of renovating our guest bathroom and one of the biggest changes we're making is we're renovating the cabinet. We're not replacing it, we're actually going to repaint it and put new cabinet fronts on it. I'm partnering with a company called New Cabinets and I can't wait to show you all the cool things about them. But first things first, we need to take these doors off. One more overview of this glorious green bathroom before we start the renovation. Now grab your screwdriver or drill and take the hinges off your doors. Okay, here's today's big tip. We need to take the drawer fronts off of the drawers, but the screws are at sort of a weird angle, so it's actually easier to take the entire drawer out. So if you are redoing a cabinet and it's easier to just take the drawers out to take the fronts off, go ahead and do it. It'll just take a few extra minutes. Once you've got those drawers out, it makes it so much easier to get your hardware out. Again, you just use a screwdriver or a drill. Okay, your next big decision is what to do about your countertop. We've decided to replace ours because we don't love the color and it's got a bunch of chips and cracks. But if you are going to keep your countertop, all you need to do is tape off the bottom when you get ready to paint your cabinet. We're gonna take ours completely off, which means we've gotta shut off the water and do all that plumbing stuff underneath. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is take off the false fronts before we start prepping the surface. Because we took off our vanity top, I can come in with a drill and get it off easily. If you're gonna leave your vanity top on, you're gonna to have to shimmy yourself under there and use a little teeny tiny screwdriver to get in there. But because we took the top off, I got all the room in the world. Now we're ready to prep our cabinet. If this was in our kitchen, we would have cleaned it first, but because this is in our guest bathroom, I just started by sanding it down with 220 grit sandpaper. And once you've done that to the whole cabinet, you're gonna wipe it down with a lint-free cloth and denatured alcohol. If you have a wood cabinet with a pronounced grain, you're gonna need to use wood filler. We used Bondo and didn't find it quite as easy to use as we'd hoped. It had a two-part epoxy. We had a hard time figuring out the right ratio and it dried so quickly that we ended up wasting quite a bit. So when you go to buy the paint for your cabinet, ask the people at the paint store if they have a recommendation. In fact, because we had such a hard time figuring out the ratio, it dried too thick and we actually had to get out our orbital sander to get a smooth finish. Don't be like the Kingstons. Once you're completely finished with the wood filler, you want to give the entire cabinet a gentle sanding. Then you're going to vacuum up all the dust and give it one more wipe down with the lint-free cloth and denatured alcohol. You also want to tape off any part of your floor or wall that you don't want to get paint on it. Now we're ready to prime our cabinet. We used Zinzer Bullseye 123 Primer. You wanna cut in around the corners and then use a small roller to prime the cabinet. Then once you're done, you give it a light sanding and one more wipe down with denatured alcohol. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is the painting. New Cabinet Doors gives you the exact paint color you need to buy from Sherwin-Williams, so it makes it nice and easy. You want to use multiple thin coats so you don't get any drips or runs. We ended up using three coats because the color was so dark. Okay, we're getting into the home stretch. We're putting on the cabinet doors and the drawer fronts. Let's talk about hinges for a second. So depending on what size and type of front you want and how much overlay you want, it's gonna depend on what kind of hinges you want. Hinges do not come with the doors, but the new website has really great information. It tells you exactly what you need. And they also have really great support, um, technical support if you need help. So once you've got your hinges and you're ready to put everything on, you're going to want to attach a level or um, we've got a metal rod down here, anything flat that will hold this in place while you put in the, the drill holes. I've already done the drill holes. Now we're ready to put in the screws. So we recommend putting the cabinet doors on first because then you can just add a shim, in our case, we added a couple of yardsticks 
to make sure that your false front is going to be level and lined up. So I've got mine lined up. I've already clamped it on one side. I'm going to clamp it on the other side. Then we're ready to drill the holes and screw it in. Okay, so now I just need to drill a pilot hole. So I've added a small drill bit and this little piece of blue tape reminds me not to drill too far so I don't go into the through the false front. Um, we've got the blocks that the original false fronts were screwed into. So we're just going to use those holes again and then I'm just going to make mine a little bit bigger. Now I've put in my screw. I'm going to drive it in on this side and then we'll do it on the other side. Okay, we already drilled for our handles, but I wanted to show you um, a couple things about putting on the drawer front. So if you use a yardstick, you can actually use the measurements to figure out exactly where you need your drawer front to be. And then I wanted to, we're going to go upside down for a second. I wanted to show you, see how sometimes you can't, um, you can't use the same drill holes. So these were the original holes on the drawers. We had to move it in for the new drawer front. Um, but just keep that in mind as you're installing everything. In case you forgot the horrendousness that was our green bathroom, here you go. And now the reveal of our gorgeous new vanity. Thank you, new cabinet doors. We are obsessed with how this bathroom turned out.